North Dakota State Pro Day today. All eyes on quarterback prospect Trey Lance, 6'3", 224. Draft analyst Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay touting his arm strength and his athleticism. Lance projected to go in the top 10 of the draft and be one of the top quarterbacks selected as well. Here's what Trey said after his performance today. It is new on SportsCenter. Oh, it was awesome. I thought it was a pretty clean day. Missed a couple, but uh, it was a ton of fun and just super thankful for this opportunity. I felt clean. Yeah, it felt really polished and it, it felt good. I felt comfortable doing everything and making all the throws. Uh, my mindset is really just I can control what I can control. Uh, I can't really worry about the things that I can't control. So uh, being at NDSU, there's no place I would rather play that. Uh, and super thankful, like I said, for this opportunity. And obviously I'm here, so I'm going to continue to do everything I can to prove people wrong. All right, I mentioned Todd McShay. He has Lance rated as the third best quarterback in the draft and 12th best prospect overall. Among QBs, he only trails top overall prospect Trevor Lawrence and fifth overall prospect Zach Wilson. According to McShay, Lance comes in ahead of other top QB prospects, Justin Fields and Mac Jones. Lewis Riddick joining us now from Fargo. He watched Lance throw earlier today. Lewis, what did Lance show you? Yeah, I'll tell you, what he showed me first and foremost is that he has got an absolute gun on him for an arm. I mean, he, that ball jumps off of his hand, and it is cutting through the air in a hurry. And he can make all the throws that you need him to make at the next level, both short, intermediate, and deep. He knows when to take some velocity off. He knows when to put velocity on. He worked really hard as far as improving his accuracy, which kind of comes from improve, improving his footwork and maybe shorten up some of his delivery so he can be just right on the money with it. Now, he did say that he missed a few throws. A lot of that may uh, have to do with lack of familiarity with some of his wide receivers. But all in all, I mean, he's just a tremendous athlete, and he's, he's an even better kid that when you talk to him, he just exudes the kind of calmness and confidence that is going to bode very well for him as far as his projection to the next level. And whatever franchise winds up drafting him is going to be very, very, very happy. Hey, while I have you here, I also want to get your thoughts on the Cam Newton news. He's returning to the Patriots on a one-year deal worth up to nearly $14 million. What do you make of their decision to bring Cam back after what uh, most say was a disappointing 2020? Yeah, it was probably disappointing on the outside, and it really was. It may have been disappointing a little bit on the inside there in New England, but I'm not shocked that they brought him back because they understand the circumstances under which Cam was trying to perform last year, meaning like he signed very late in the free agency period last year, had a very short and abbreviated training camp, then got sick. He was trying. He was playing catch up the entire time during the 2020 season, and with a, a cast of wide receivers and tight ends that, quite honestly, just weren't good enough by anyone's standard. So they know that last year really has an asterisk beside it as far as Cam's statistics, and they really want to see what he looks like in 2021, where they have you know, the, the salary cap space and the cash to go out and really improve this roster from a weaponry standpoint that is only going to help Cam. And for Cam himself, he has an entire offseason now to learn the intricacies of this offense, which is very complicated from a passing game standpoint and does things, you know, philosophically that he had never really done or really wasn't asked to do in Carolina. So I think you're going to see a much different Cam Newton in 2021. Bill loved him as far as his approach and his professionalism. And you have to pull for him, you know, going into this season because last year's last season by anyone's standards was not good enough. And I know that Cam was disappointed in it as well. Patriots going to try to avoid consecutive losing seasons for the first time since the early 90s. I am really digging casual Lewis Riddick. And I was going to ask you if you're wearing a hat <laughs> because you had a bad hair day, but I'd be, that's probably not the reason why you're wearing no, a hat. No, it's, it's not <laughs> that, Jay. It's just, hey, it's just, we're, we're, out here on the, we're out here on the road, man. We're doing some work. So. Jay. <laughs> that's just, just not cap. fair. <laughs> <laughs> My man, you wear it well. Thank you, brother. Uh Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.